Well, it's a new police restraint device called the Bola Wrap. Officers say it's safe and effective, particularly with people in crisis. And once the, the Kevlar cord wraps around your legs, you are not going anywhere. This is amazing. Channel 2's Tom Regan reports from Conyers, where police say it's important to have another tool to restrain people without the use of force. The original bola was an Indian hunting tool, but this bola wrap device is applying the principle of rope restraint in a whole new way. It shoots out it's seven feet, six inches of Kevlar cord, and on the end of those cords are anchors, and then on those are barbs. It doesn't um, attack the nervous system like the taser does. Conyers police gave us a demonstration of their new compliance tool. When fired, it makes a gun-like sound. In a split second, the Kevlar cord wraps around the legs or upper body and arms, immobilizing the target. It's a compliance tool. It's not meant to injure anyone. It's just meant to get compliance of someone. Police say it's been effective in restraining unarmed people in crisis who pose a danger to themselves or others. Once I deployed it, immediately converged on him as I was trained here to do. I was able to be successful. He went right down to the ground as we instructed him to do. No um, was, correct. We was able to secure handcuffs to the rear of his person. Um, was able to get him medical treatment that he needed. I decided to try getting Bola wrapped. Bola, Bola, Bola. The cord tightly gripped my legs, yeah, yeah. making movement impossible. Take off one and talk. The goal, to restrain right. without right. using force. I feel pretty constrained here. Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News this morning. I, it's like something out of a TV show, but now only a handful of police agencies in Georgia are using the BOLA wrap. Maybe it'll be more widely used. Who knows?